Yo, cuz, what's going on? My name's Anthony, my friends call me El Jefe. Um, making this video to announce that I am gonna be hiking the Appalachian Trail next year, March 3rd, actually. I'll be starting my northbound through hike down at Amicola Falls. I'm gonna hike up the approach trail up to Springer Mountain, and then uh, we're gonna take off from there. Georgia to Maine, God willing we make it. But uh, I just wanted to introduce myself. I got all my gear laid out here, and uh, we're just gonna go through it and uh, show you guys what I'm gonna be taking. Okay, so here's the standard shot of all the gear laid out. This is most of everything I'll be taking. Uh, like I said, I'll be starting off in uh, March, early March, so uh, we're gonna have some winter gear, uh, so pack's gonna be a little heavier in the beginning. So uh, we're gonna start off here. I went with the uh, Hyperlite Windrider 2400. It is a 40 liter bag. Uh, it's got the mesh pockets on the front and the side. It's a pretty nice pack so far. I've had it for a few months now. Uh, I got a couple accessories with it with a little phone case. Uh, it's made out of dynamic fabric, so it's 100% waterproof. So uh, I'm not bringing a uh, bag liner or anything like that. So uh, it's kind of small, but 40 liters. I figure if I uh, got a bigger one, I would just be bringing more stuff with me. So uh, I'm glad I went with the smaller pack with the 40 liters. Next up. I got a Z-Pax Dupex tent. Uh, this is a pretty popular tent right now. Um, I've had it for like three years, so it's still holding up pretty well. Uh, it's very light, one of the lightest on the markets. Uh, single wall tent. Um, I actually used my uh, trekker pole to set that up. So for one of my newest, more favorite pieces of gear, I've just purchased this as a uh, this uh, lighting equipment, 20 degree quilt. It's got the draft collars on both sides. It is very, very comfortable. Um, I've only tested it out a couple times. I had an older one, the down got pretty, pretty flattened, but uh, yeah, that is uh, very nice for the winter time and them cold nights. Finish off the sleep system. I also got this Sea to Summit reactor thermolite sleeping bag liner. Um, it says it adds about 12 to 15 degrees extra. Um, I don't know about that, maybe 10, we'll see how that is. But it definitely gives you that nice uh, cotton cloth feeling underneath uh, your, uh, you know, the down bag. Plus it protects from uh, dirty hiker feet and all the nasty oils. Also, we got this Thermarest Z-Lite. Um, I'm debating going back and forth between this or my uh, Thermarest Z-Lite, X-Lite, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, this is the inflatable one. Um, it's got a nice R value. It does keep you warm. So is this one. But uh, this one's a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I'm just worried about getting punctures. Uh, sometimes people get holes in them on the trail. and It's the last thing I want to be doing is uh, rolling around in the dirt, you know on the dirt so uh that completes the sleep system uh we're gonna go and check out the uh my cook system okay for my cooking system uh i got the uh i believe this is a toke 700 milliliter titanium pot um i don't need much more than that i don't be be cooking much on the trail um uh, maybe just at night time um heating up hot water for coffee in the morning maybe but uh so I also got this long handle toke spoon. It's not one of them fancy ones with the polished uh, polished bowl, but uh, it's nice and light, and uh, I like the long handle on it. Um, so for the stove, I went real light, real cheap with this BRS, I think it is. Yeah, the BRS. That's yeah, cheap. I got it off of Amazon, China. Uh, it's so, so light, but... Uh, I don't really count ounces. Um, I haven't written down or weighed any of this stuff, but uh, I like to go light on certain things so I can have some luxury items. Uh, gas can goes right inside there, and I'll have a little big thick lighter with also a little, little rag inside to clean it off. 
Next up, water filtration. I got the Sawyer Squeeze, the main one. Um, this thing works good, it's light, it's practical. You can either um, screw it right to these smart water bottles, or I'm bringing this uh, Canop dirty water bag, it's two liters I believe. This also screws right onto it uh, so I can filter it into my, uh, my smart water bottles. Okay, next up is my rain gear. Uh, the rain jacket, I went with this Outdoor Research. Um, I think it's the Helium 2. It is a very nice jacket, I do like it. I haven't really tested it too much in the pouring down rain, but uh, it's a minimalist jacket. It doesn't have any, any pit zips or um, any pockets or anything special like that. It's got the front zip uh, pocket like that, but I've never used that. Um, I went minimalist on that. It's 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 light. It's worth it. It keeps me halfway dry. But on the Appalachian Trail, as everyone knows, you're going to get wet no matter what. It's going to be hard to stay dry. So uh, I am bringing these brain pants. These are also the Outdoor Research Helium brain pants. Um, again, these are what they are, you know. They're more for me for warmth, for like breaking the wind. Um, I know my legs are gonna get wet no matter what. But I also bought this. I don't know if I'll be bringing this. This is the uh, Z-Pax uh, Dyneva rain, rain kilt, rain skirt, whatever the heck you wanna call it. But uh, I might be bringing that just for something extra to uh, you know lay my gear down on. Um, it, it spreads out pretty good. So uh, we'll see about it. gear this is my fleece and mid layer this is uh melanzana from leadville colorado um this is the wind the wind pro fleece i believe it's a little heavier than the grid stop um i got a good deal my buddy hooked me up with it um it's got an awesome hood it cinches down it is uh like i said a little heavier but uh definitely definitely worth bringing for the sleeping clothes these are just strictly sleeping clothes. Um, I got the Patagonia Thermal Weight Capilene. Um, I've had these for a couple years. These done me really well out in the cold. Um, it's got these little uh, bevels for uh, breathing a little bit better and then uh, it's nice and soft. So I'll be wearing them strictly for sleeping uh, in the early months, the winter months. Um, I want something to, to uh, definitely keep me dry after a long day hiking. Next up is the clothes I'll be hiking in. This is the clothes I'll be wearing. They won't be in my pack. Um, start off, I just got a regular short sleeve, smart wool. Smart wool, merino, merino wool. It's a light layer, there's a 150, so it's like the light layer. I just need that just, you know, it wicks wet sweat on, on my skin and uh, I'll be wearing that underneath my uh, Mount Zana. Um, I'll be going with the shorts. These are Patagonia baggies. I think they're like the five inch. They're kind of short. They come right up above my knee. Um, I'm also going to be bringing these to hike in underneath those if it gets any, if it gets too cold or for, you know, for some reason the wind gets get whipping. Um, if I don't want to put on my rain pants, I'll uh, just throw on these. I just got the mid layer REI um, Merino wool. Merino's wool is good for the uh, Appalachian Trail, especially because it's so so humid and sweaty and wet and damp all the all the time there. So it's kind of hard of, uh, to keep dry and to uh, keep smelling good, <laughs> I guess. But uh, yeah, that hiker stank be coming in. So uh, up next, that's like I said, that's the stuff I'm gonna be wearing. Um, let's see, what's next? So I got the. I got three pairs of darn tough socks I'm gonna be bringing. 
two dedicated to hiking. I'll swap them out day by day. And one dedicated just for sleeping. Like I said, just same with these, with my long underwear. I want to have something dedicated just for sleeping, just so I know I have something warm to get into at night, along with my, uh, my quilt. All right, I bring in two pairs of ex-officio boxer briefs. These things are awesome. I've searched all over the freaking my whole life to get a perfect pair of boxers, and I think these are it. Um, they're very, very comfortable wicking. So I'm bringing two of those. A pair of Dirty Gear Upgraders to keep the pebbles out. Also, another Smart Wool Neck Gator. This is uh, also just, you know, for warmth at night. Um, at hiking, I'm not really too worried about getting too cold. But uh, when it's sleep time, you know, I, it gets a little chilly at night. I sleep a little cold. So um, I definitely want to be warm at night. That's for sure. Also, my insulating layer. I got this uh, Patagonia Micro Puff hoodie. Uh, this thing is awesome. I've owned a couple of these over, over the over the years. This is a new one. Um, got it on sale. That's what that's what's up with the ugly color. Obviously, I like to have black. That's what all my other shit is. But uh, <laughs> at least the hunters, or uh, if I never need to. Flag anyone down will see me in this damn thing. Okay, for some gloves, I got these possum possum down. Um, these stretch gloves, I think I got them from Z-Packs. Uh, we'll see how these work out. They seem a little bit, uh, a little flimsy. We'll see how that works out. Um, also got these regular REI Gore-Tex mitts to go over the gloves. I might be swift swapping these out uh, for a pair of Patagonia of uh, fingerless, fingerless gloves that have the, the, the flap over for the mitten. I might be taking them instead of these. Uh, so yeah, that's for the uh, more cold weather here. Again, that might be going home eventually once the winter months go away. But uh, I'm starting in March, like I said. So at least March, April. Hell, it always it's it, it snows sometimes in the Smokies in you know May and shit. So even further up. So we'll see how that goes. What I'll be keeping, what I'll be loaning out. Hopefully, it'll be sooner than later when it warms up. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm prepared for out all. Okay. Back at it. We've got a couple of small sacks I'll be up. I like to organize my stuff in. Right here is all my electronics. Um, here's my Anchor Power Pack. Um, this holds like five, six chargers from my iPhone. Um, it takes a while to charge up, at least five hours. So I'll have to be charging that up in town. It's got the dual port. Um, so you can charge a couple things at, all at once. Also got the Anchor uh, Multi Fast Charger. I don't know how many watts or whatever this thing is. I don't know all the specs for all this shit. I just buy it up and test it out. If it's good, it works, it works, whatever. Um, yeah, this is the fast charger. It's also got two dual ports, so I can charge a couple of my things at once when I'm in town. Uh, so what else we got in here? We got some uh, extra GoPro batteries, which I will be bringing my GoPro Hero 9, which I'm filming on right now. We got a couple of extra batteries, uh, a couple, couple wires. Um, this is my headlamp, Black Diamond Spot, I think, or Spirit, whatever. It's small little guy. It's rechargeable, um, so I don't have to worry about lugging around batteries, extra batteries, all that junk. I uh, got a couple extra uh, SD cards for the GoPro. I'll also be bringing um, my iPhone XS. Boom. Um, this thing is awesome, too. I'll be mostly shooting my pictures with this. It, you know, it's, it records and takes awesome pictures. Uh, I'll be doing most of the recording on the GoPro. So I got all that put in uh, another Z-Packs uh, stuff sack. A little disappointed in this. I, you know, Z-Packs website, first of all, I don't want to be endorsing Z-Packs at all, but uh, this thing was a very disappointment. Uh, pretty much everything I bought besides my tent from Z-Packs was a disappointment. So yeah, Z-Packs, get it together. Um, that takes care of the electronics. Diddy bag. These are all like my toiletries and um, my first aid kit and repair kit, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so 
Uh, I got a couple extra O-rings in here, uh, some repair tapes, a Dyneema tape, uh, patches for the uh, air mattress in case anything like that goes bad. Got a head net, I might bring this, might leave it back, I don't know. Um, sometimes when skeeters get bad, flies up in Maine. Um, toothpaste, little small travel toothbrush. Dr. Bronner's 18 in one hemp lavender soap. Boyaka show, that's that baller shit, baby. This is concentrate, so uh, I'll be using this to wash up and uh, clean up at night, you know what I'm saying? So I've uh, got some Neosporin, also some Body Glide for them chafing days. Keep that shit smooth and keep it pushing, baby. No time for chafing. I got some other little things, you know, to nail, nail clippers, a little couple, a couple of uh, safety pins in case I need to pop some blisters. I am gonna be bringing a knife. I might bring a better knife than this. This is just a little Cabela's you buy them at the register. It, it works. I, I don't really need a knife. It's just for cutting cheese and, you know, stuff like that. And I got a little mini pack towel. Uh, I might go buy another one. Uh, this one's a small size. Um, in case I need to wipe down my tent, the kind of station in my tent or anything like that. But yeah, it might, uh, might get a bigger size than that. I got some KT tape, uh, Luco tape. Uh, I'm gonna be putting some ibuprofen in there, maybe a couple band-aids, some alcohol wipes, a hand sanitizer, stuff like that. But not much more for the uh, first aid kit. You know, I figure if I get hurt bad enough, uh, I'll be dead on the trail, but <laughs> what's a little band-aid gonna do? I could hike into town, whatever, man. I'm not really worried about the, uh, first heavy first aid kit that uh, people tend to bring. So uh, yeah, that's the Diddy Sack and the electronics. Bam. Okay, on to the food storage. Um, this is the boring stuff I know, but uh, I got myself this uh, Z-Packs Dyneema Fabric uh, bag. Um, comes with a little carabiner hooked up to it. Um, also comes with these uh, paraglide cord and the rock sack. Um, this is for all y'all who don't know, um, a lot of areas on the trail is a lot of barrier activity, so you do have to, uh, they recommend you hang your, you know, your food bag in the trees at night, so uh, the bears don't come sniffing along. Um, you know, I'm not really too worried about wildlife on the trail, you know, bears are bears, you know, they're big raccoons, in my opinion, they're just looking for food, so as long as you're smart, you don't cook and throw trash around and stuff like that, you know, leave no trace, don't forget. Um, you'll be all right. You know, rattlesnakes and ticks, I'm more worried about that. <laughs> As for footwear, um, I'll be going with these Ultra Lone Peak 4.5, I believe they are. Um, these got a couple hundred miles on them, maybe. Um, they are awesome shoe, I love them. Uh, I'll be grabbing a couple more pairs before I leave to uh, ship, my, um, ship them out to me up the trail. For the camp shoes, yep, croc life, baby. You see them, you know the deal, croc life. They're a little heavy for camp shoes to be dragging, lugging around all day, but uh, you know, for them river crossings and sometimes you just need to get out of them sweaty ass shoes and let your feet dry out at night. So um, yeah, that's the footwear. Okay, people, that about does it. That about wraps it up. Uh, that's the majority of my stuff. Pretty much everything. Like I said, I'm waiting on or a couple little things in here and there. I might be swapping out a few things. Um, but for the majority, that is the stuff. Uh, I'll be doing some more, uh, probably some more detailed in-depth videos um, coming up in the next couple months uh, before I leave for the trail. I um, appreciate you guys following along. Hit that like and subscribe button. And um, we about to do this thing, man. Let's go. Come along for the journey. Peace.